This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the quick lab turns and services and YouTube community guidelines. Back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is recently updated so it is updated solution for this lab. So first of all just me log in with your credentials and once you're done with that in the description box of this video I will share on the github link. Just me click on that link and then you are able to access this file over here. Now just me scroll down over here and from here you can see this URL. So just me click over here and then open this thing in incognito window like this way. This will activate your cloud shell. So just me wait for that. And it's finally done. Now just me come back over here and from here you can see all this command. Okay. So the first command is going to download the GitHub repo from my GitHub to your cloud shell. After that we have to make this file executable. For that we are going to run this chmod command. And for executing this file we have to just run this command. So I request to please pay attention because this lab is little bit different. So first copy this command. Come back. Paste. And hit enter. Like this way. Now here you can see enter bucket 1. For that come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see bucket name 1. So just me copy this and paste hit enter. Ok now for the bucket 2 copy this come back paste hit enter. Now for the bucket 3 copy this come back paste hit enter like this way. Now here you can see enter a form number. From where you get this form number for that just me click on the challenge scenario over here and from here you can see this form id. For you this form id might be different. So you have to just simply choose the number accordingly that. For me the given form id is 2. So I am going to just simply type 2 over here like this way. Then hit enter button wait for a second and then just me click on authorize. Now you have to just me wait for to this command get execute and once it's done you are done with this lab. So just me wait for a couple of minutes and after that we will check the score for the lab. And as you can see it's done. Now if you just me come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry. Wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score on this lab for sure. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day guys. Remember this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.